composition was inspired by the built-in effects from the Boss RC600 loop station. Now there's a whole host of amazing effects built into this unit. What I found particularly inspiring was the ability to work with input effects where we're working with effects on individual loops as well as working with track effects where you can work as more of a producer or DJ manipulating and affecting the whole track. What's particularly helpful is on one side of the pedal we have the input effects and the other side we have the track effects. Here's a breakdown of how I did it. In this track, I start off using the G2B effect, which is the guitar to bass or an octave based effect. Then I use the freeze effect on each of these chords. It's really cool to experiment with the timing of this freeze. I tend to leave it to come slightly after the attack of the chord so we pick up the resonance of it rather than that first initial striking of the chord. The first track effect I use is Twist, which is a fantastic way of launching into a new section. Now the second track effect I'm using is the Step Slicer. Now this is a favorite to use as an input effect as well, but as a track effect, it creates this wonderful rhythmic feel. Now the final track effect that I'm using is the LPF or the low pass filter. It's a fantastic track effect to bring some fresh perspective onto the same section. The final effect I use is a reverse reverb which really works with this percussion. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoy using some of these ideas in your own compositions.